Well, good morning again, everybody. Welcome back to Walking Through the Scriptures with Joseph Pahoda. Today, I want to talk to you about something in my hopefully, you know, fall colors as it's going to be fall later this week. Um, something that's been in my spirit for years now, and I just want to make a quick video on it. And that's talking about, you know, since we are the righteousness of God now, you know, the culture of the kingdom of God is honor, which is true. However, if honor is only a one-way street, or if honor is only one-sided, then consequently what you don't have is honor in your church or in the church you attend. What you have is dictatorship and control. And what do I mean by that? Yes, the culture of the kingdom is honor. But honor that's only one-sided or one-way, i.e. the people in the pews honor up, but the people on the top don't honor down, then what you have is one-sided honor, which isn't really honor at all. It's really dictatorship and control. Um, so I agree, honor is the culture of the kingdom, but honor can't be just one way. Honor is a two-way street, ladies and gentlemen. It goes both ways. Uh, and, the, and if the people on top don't honor the people in the pews and the people in the bottom, then you don't really have honor. You just have dictatorship and control. And you'll see this a lot in a lot of churches where, um, you know, they have pastor appreciations and they give the pastor all kinds of accolades and they give the pastor all kinds of money. But yet the pastor and the leadership never honor the people in the church and they really never honor the people in the pews. Um, you'll see that a lot. So it seems like all the praise and all the honor goes up, but the praise and honor very rarely usually goes down. And I've seen this a lot in, the, in my last 25 years or so being a Christian because I, out of that time, I was in the military active duty for 20 years. And as you know, if you're active duty, every two to three years, you know, you'll have to pack up and the army moves you to a new duty station. And so it was with me. So every two to three years, I had to pack up in that 20-year career. And so it seemed like every two or three years, I had to pack up and therefore find a new church in that new location. And in almost every new location I went to, almost all the churches, what, and it really didn't matter the denomination, they pretty much all preached this about how, you know, honor is the culture of the kingdom. And I agree. So therefore, honor should also be the culture in our churches. And I agree. However, you can preach that and you can say that and it'd be correct. But my point is you can be preaching the, the right thing, but, that the, but the culture in the church doesn't reflect what you're preaching. So yes, honor is the culture of the kingdom. But yet when it, when it comes to where the brass tacks, where the rubber meets the road, the culture in the church doesn't match what you're actually saying, pastor. And a lot of times pastors have a blind spot to this because they, they think that the culture is good and the culture is honoring because they're the ones getting the honor. So they think the church is good because they're the ones getting all the honor accolades, but everybody else is going left out. Okay. So they, your pastor may have a blind spot to this because he's the one getting the honor. So he thinks everything's okay. And it's not. It's a one-sided dictatorship control. And it could be a narcissistic, you know, in, insecure pastor who's receiving all the honor, but he doesn't create a culture in order to, to bring it back down. And again, honor has to go both ways. And you'll see this a lot in a lot of churches, by the way. One of the besides just the pastor appreciation, another way it manifests is quite frankly, pastors act like you can't check them. And they act like, you know, they can do no wrong. And if you try to check them, who are you, that dumb sheep checking your pastor? Okay, saints, that is, you know, wolf speak. That is, um, that is not the Bible. I even had a pastor uh, friend of mine who I love dearly, but he said this one time when he was preaching behind the pulpit on a Sunday morning. And he was talking to the people in the pews, and therefore me, because I was in the pews too. He said, you guys are not allowed to check me. And I was thinking to myself, wow, that's not biblically correct. First Timothy chapter five says, if you have an accusation against an elder, let there be two or three witnesses. That way the, the, the accusation can be legitimized. But if you have two or three witnesses and that accusation can be legitimized, the Bible says, take that elder, in this case, pastor, take him before the whole church and rebuke him in front of the whole congregation so the fear of the Lord will be established in that church. So, I mean, so when my pastor friend said, you can't check me, apparently he forgot 1 Timothy chapter 5. 
Um, pastors, you are not untouchable. You are not uncheckable. Um, you can't do whatever you want to do and then call that, well, you know, in the name of honor. No, no, no. You are accountable, even more so, because as the leader, you have a more responsibility of the weight of the ministry of the shepherding of these people's souls. Okay? So honor doesn't mean you're uncheckable and you can do whatever you want and you can get away with it. And the people in the pews aren't spiritual enough or they don't have a title enough to check you. Um, again, that is one way honor and we're honoring up, but you don't honor down. And that's a dictatorship and that's a control mechanism. And that's a, it could be a egotistical, prideful, narcissistic control freak on your hands. Now, I will say this, saints, you know, your pastor might not be that, but he may still operate in this ignorance because unfortunately in a lot of churches, this was the status quo in a lot of churches. So therefore, consequently, this is how a lot of churches operated where they only honored up, but they didn't honor down. So it, he might not be a narcissist. He might not be a control freak. He might not be a dictator, but unfortunately he thinks this is the status quo and he thinks this is how church is supposed to be. Well, that's why I'm making videos like this to help him or help them, the churches or the pastor, get delivered from that false dichotomy. If you could only check down, but you can't check up, and therefore if the pastor is unteachable or he can't be taught anything. And see, saints, this is something I've learned in the military. In the military, we had an attitude or a culture that, you know, basically we said, you know, you can learn something, you know, we, 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 from anybody. We say, you know, work smarter, not harder. So we say, even you know, if you're a general, but if, but if the private has a better way to do it, then the general humbles himself or herself, and we learn from the private. If somebody in, that's a subordinate to me is thinking better or has a better way to do it, then we do it the better way, regardless of the rank of the person who brought it to us. We humble ourselves to say, hey... I can receive from the lowest of the low. I can receive from the private because the private way right now is a better way to do it. See, I learned that in my 20 years in the military. It's funny though. I can honestly say I didn't learn that from the church. I didn't learn that from the church. I learned that from the military. So it's sad a secular non-Christian organization can teach that to me. And I had to learn that piece of humility from the world, from the military. And honestly, I really didn't receive that from the church. Who should be the, the standard bearers of honor and humility. But in my 20 years of being in the military, and therefore 20 years of moving to different churches, I didn't really learn that in the church. I'd learned that from the military. That I humble myself enough and I can learn from the lowest of low. If the lowest of low have a better way of thinking or doing it. That same principle applies, saints, to the church. So if, you know, and that's another reason when I got promoted in the military, I always thanked my soldiers that were serving, that I served with and served under me. Because without them, you know, they make me look good. Okay. So when I got promoted, I always thanked the soldiers I was serving with and the soldiers that were serving under me and I was in charge of. Because without them, I couldn't do my job well. How many pastors do that? How many pastors honor down? Now, for those of you who are doing it, praise God, I love you. Because you're doing the right thing. For those of you who don't, this message is a culture sock and you need to change. Okay? Because yes, honor is the culture of the kingdom. But if honor is one-sided or only goes up and it doesn't go down, you don't really have honor. What you have is, is, a, is a dictatorship and you have a control freak and a control freak on your, and maybe a narcissist or a egotistical maniac on your hands. And if that's you, I would suggest you seriously pray about it because it's my time for you and your family to find another church. Because the reality is, if that dictatorship and control continues to keep going on, it's only a matter of time before you or a family member, your wife or your children, will get hurt. If you stay there long enough and that pastor refuses to be checked, it's only a matter of time before you or your family members get hurt. That's just the reality. That's how it is going to be. So, because again, one-sided honor that only goes up and never goes down is a dictatorship and, and it's a control mechanism and it's control. 
And it's only a matter of time before they try to control you. And somebody is somebody, you or your family is going to get hurt. Okay? So yes, honor is the culture of the kingdom, but honor is two ways, ladies and gentlemen, up and down. So if you're only preaching honor up and the people on top aren't preaching it down, you have a dictatorship and a control freak on your hands. Okay? And again, pastors, if you're listening to me, what you're saying, what you're preaching is right. But just because you're preaching it doesn't mean that the church you pastor is modeling it. So just because what you're preaching is right doesn't mean that the culture in that church is right. And pastor, if that's your church, it's time to make some changes. Because if not, you have a dict dictatorship, you have a control freak, I, you have a cult on your hands, but you don't have a church. Because honor is two ways, not just one. It has to go up, but it also has to go down. If you're not doing that, you don't have honor. You have dictatorship and control. If this message has blessed you, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, share this with your friends. Until next time, know that God loves you and I do too. God bless.